Hello everybody, I'm Eriko. This is the part two on how to measure your diffraction part and actually I'm going to show you how to index your ring diffraction pattern, right? So in the first video I showed you how to centralize the diffraction pattern, how to find the center, how to generate the rotational average, the line profile, and how to measure the peaks, actually the rings, uh, in this big chart, and how to report the results. Of course, the results are also reported here, down here on the output, so you can see the values 1 over nanometers in the reciprocal space and also in the real space uh, in nanometers, right? So now I'm gonna use another uh, tool uh, down under the Diff Tools menu bar that's called Crystal Tools, right? So on the Crystal Tools you have to enter these values here, so actually the lattice parameters of the material you are interested, you know, uh, so in my, in my case, I I got a mag, uh, diffraction part, an electron diffraction part, uh, selected area diffraction part of magnetite nanoparticles, right? So I also have uh, included magnetite down here on my list. So, but I'll, I'll, you, if you haven't got the material you are interested in, in your list, you can also mark, check here if it's cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, and so on, and you type the let's parameters here. So once you have uh, selected the standard material, I mean your reference material, you click on table here and click OK. So it will give you the list of the HKL reflections and the corresponding D space in, in angstrom, right? So now all you have to do is compare your measured values here. Let me. Okay, it's down here. So those are the measured values, so in nanometers, in here, on the list you have in exons. And now you start indexing. For example, in my case I got, I measured 0.4878 angstrom, that actually 4.84 uh, angstroms. So this is the 111 plane. So you start identify those planes. So here I measured uh, 0 0.297 that, that, that is actually here. The 220 plane, right? So then you, you compare all the measured planes or at least uh, the majority with your HKL D spacing list that you generate with using the crystal tools, right? Yeah, I hope it might be helpful for some of you and I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching and see ya.